And construction has started on the site of that proposed music venue on Cincinnati's riverfront. But the deal is far from done, and city leaders are questioning if it should even happen. Megan Mangello is live with what's holding up the project. Megan. Well, hi, Paula. It's all quiet right now because crews have gone home for the day, but I can tell you construction has been happening right behind me. They are currently building a structure that will support a parking garage, but for now, that is all they are building. The county has a deal with the Bengals for a new music venue on that spot right there, but so far, the city of Cincinnati is saying no. And then you use the grid of these pile caps to come up with your vertical structure. What goes on that vertical structure could be this, a brand new music venue run by the Cincinnati Symphony. The plan is for it to go next to Paul Brown Stadium. For that to happen, the county has to buy the site where Hilltop Concrete sits, give it to the Bengals for a parking lot, and move the company to Queensgate. If the symphony wants to spend its own money to compete with a music venue at the banks, I think that's great. But the taxpayer shouldn't take a $100 million risk, which is the amount of money that's being given over to the Bengals. Mayor John Cranley wants City Council to reject a memorandum of understanding between Hamilton County and the Bengals. It says the team will forgive the taxpayers' bill for the remainder of the lease that runs to 2026. So that 30 million would have gone into the pockets of the Bengals. Instead, because we've re renegotiated the lease, that money is going to help pay for the relocation of Hilltop period. The reason they're willing to do it because tailgating is their number one priority. Commissioner Denise Driehaus says the county is giving the Bengals more parking spots for tailgating and revenue from parking for five additional events for a total of 27. But the mayor says it'll make a bad Bengals deal worse. They would give over uh, millions and millions of dollars to the Bengals in free parking revenues that are currently owed and earned by the public at garages, and these would not be on game days. So the Bengals really have no claim on them. And that money will far exceed uh, the, the 30 million that the Bengals said they're giving up. You're looking live right now at another area of the banks. The mayor is suggesting putting the music venue somewhere that doesn't involve a deal with the Bengals. That right there is lot 24. That is right next to where the music venue could also go, which is lot 27, which is right next to me right here, right alongside of Race Street. I'm sorry, Elm Street that sits next to Paul Brown Stadium. So at this point, anyone's guess as to what could happen next, but I can tell you the arguing between both sides continues. Reporting live along the banks, Megan Mangello, Lo Local 12 News. Yeah, never simple. Thank you, Megan. Well, meanwhile, just across the river in Newport, construction has already started on a new music venue at the Ovation site where the licking flows into the Ohio River. Kentucky already has all the necessary approvals to keep moving forward.